Welcome to the Crafty Stitches podcast. This is a video podcast about all of my crafting adventures. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about all of my current work in progress projects and some projects I have not even talked about on the podcast before. Let's get started. Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mariet, also known as the Boerfrau, and I am coming to you from South Africa. Today is Friday the 23rd of August 2024 and this is episode 70. I have a lot of things to share today, but first let's talk about what I am wearing. I am wearing my Fairy Lily sweater which is my own design. I knit it in Piana Yarns sock yarn in the colorway Victoria. And the pattern is part of a yarn kit that is currently available on my website. I will link that down below if you are interested. I knit the long sleeve version. There is also a three quarter sleeve version available. And I'm wearing mine this morning. It is not very cold, but it's just a little bit too cold for no sweater in my craft room today. The second project that I am wearing today is a pair of vanilla socks that I knit toe up with my DB toe up socks pattern. This was made with opal yarn and I knit these in October 2022. It was the first socks that I knit in opal yarn for myself and that is everything that I'm wearing today that is handmade. Please let me know in the comments what projects you are working on. I love hearing about your projects. I hope you have something to drink and something to work on while we have a little project update on my projects. Let's get into it. I have to just first say I have not shown these projects on the podcast before because I was not sure <laughs> that my idea will work out and I had to test it out first and then I finished the project and I decided to use it a few times to make sure it works well before I show it to you all. When my husband saw this idea, his first comment was, what is the purpose of this cozy? <laughs> my answer is, firstly, it is super cute. <laughs> but there is a purpose. I usually have more than one of these bottles with me when I go out. And when they are in the car, it makes a terrible noise. <laughs> when the bottles roll around and hit each other. So I thought, let's get a cute solution <laughs> to this problem. <laughs> and I like to keep things looking pretty. So it also acts as a protective layer on the bottle so that the pretty colors do not come off where the bottles hit each other. But now I know everyone will not have the same brand of bottles that I have. So there is three sizes. <laughs> and two of the options are ribbing, which means bottle sizes can be a little bit different. This one also fits on this bottle. And I also have another big bottle that is a different brand that this also 
fits on. So I'm sure it will work for lots of different brands. Anyway, I am just a tiny bit obsessed with these cozies. And they do not use a lot of yarn. This is from a sock set that I got as a gift. Um, I knit the scraper cowl from this one. I think I used the leftovers in two different socks. I gave a mini to a friend. And I made this cozy from the main skein and still have some left. The skein is one that just keeps on giving. So this is the smallest size and it fits my 500ml bottle. It used 16 grams of yarn. And this is a Naughty Habit sock yarn. Then I made this one. This yarn is from Big Fox Yarn. It's called Cherry Chocolate. I made my sister-in-law a pair of mittens from this and had over 50 grams left. This is the second size and it fits a 750 ml bottle. It used 20 grams. And then I decided to make another size. To see, obsessed. I made another size to fit my one liter bottle. I love these bottles for having boiled water in the kitchen. When there's a power outage, you at least can make some coffee. <laughs> anyway, this one is from Piana Yarns Sock Yarn. It was a leftover from my Fairy Lily Cow. And this one used 26 grams. And I'm planning on making some more of these. They are just so fun. I mean... Look at them, they're just gorgeous. So one design is the plain stocking stitch with some shaping at the taper point. One is the faux cable. I really want to make a real cable one too. And then this one, the last one, is a three by one ripped cozy. I love them all. The stocking stitch design gave me a bit of problems. It just would not stay where it was supposed to be. It kept spinning around the bottle. Yes, I think that's a good description. But after I worked in some shaping, it is perfect. I love them all. Right. That is it for finished projects. Let's move over to have a little chat about my current work in progress projects. The first work in progress project that I would like to share with you today is my very long striped socks. This sock did not get a lot of work done on it, but in the previous episode I was at this point of the leg where the stitch marker is from Annegret from Pincushion Crafts. And I did complete about 10 centimeters on the leg of the second sock. Now, these socks are knit toe up with my heel flap and gusset method. I wanted to have nice long legs. So that I can wear them in my gum boots. So if this is your first episode, let me just show you the first sock. You will be able to wear it slouchy like this.
or this is the long leg don't worry the length shrinks up when it's on an actual leg i love this so much and i'm so happy about my color choice i think it looks stunning these are knit with mostly knotty habit sock yarns which is a blend of 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon and it has 366 meters on 100 grams this color is a calco blues colorway and then this one is the one color that I've dyed myself for this pair of socks. I think I will use basically everything that I dyed for these socks. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I will have enough to add a square to my brioche memories blanket. Let's see if these are done what I have left. I want to get this done. Spring is just around the corner and then I have lots of of work for my gumboots more than in winter anyway <laughs> all right now what do i have left to show you no more knitting projects today i might start another cozy today but i'm actually working on the softover socks and the pattern currently so i've not started a new sock project yet um, that will happen very soon <laughs> My only other work in progress that I have is my duvet cover that is an embroidery project at the moment. The sewing part will come later. Okay. This is a very big project. So in episode 69, I showed this tablecloth that will eventually be turned into a duvet cover and I have finished the block that was not finished for the last almost 14 years <laughs> but I have managed to get one done now I have exactly 12 more to go <laughs> all right i am wondering if i should set a monthly goal for this project i don't know at this point the only goal is to get it done with all of my work the bakery and all the stuff that i need to do i do not know if it will be possible to embroider a block in a month So I'm not setting a definite goal for the rest of the duvet cover, but let's see how far I can get with one block for the next month. I will calculate the month from today to the last recording day in September. What will that be? The 20th of September? That's about... 28 days i think if you are new to the podcast let me quickly summarize this project for you i got the tablecloth in 2010 as a gift bought some thread speed embroidered the first square i saw that i have too little thread to finish the project i ordered some more in the same dye lot worked on it a little into 2011 I never really worked on it ever since, until I pulled it out about three weeks ago. I decided to turn it into a duvet cover when it is done. And the first step towards that is do all the embroidery. And that is where this is currently. These are the threads that I'm using for it. I'm using the DMC embroidery thread in these three colors. 
this is the number for the thread. It is 100% cotton, by the way. So this is the color 777. It's this deep maroon color. They have no colorway names, just numbers. This is the color 900. I will call it a burnt orange copper color. And the last one is 988. And it, this, it is this beautiful green color. I have checked the DMC website and all three of these colors are still available. It is a six strand embroidery floss, I think. I think that is all for my project. Let's move over to find out what's been happening. I walked in the fruit tree orchard and saw that the trees are starting to wake up from their winter sleep. The first buds are on the apricot trees and the peach trees are also starting to wake up. The night temperatures are still cool and the days are already hot so we will see how this season will go. The knitting, crochet and sewing lists is very long and work is very busy. I had lots of baking to do this week and that means less time to craft and spend on finishing up patterns. I'm also looking into sewing bras or bralettes. I have quite a few patterns that I can make. It is still here on my table after looking at it. I have been to classes on how to make them, but I decided to start small and simple. Stuff at the shops where I go is not what I want, so I'm looking into that. I've not made bras in years, but I still have lots of these supplies. I, the problem is actually good quality fabric. I would like to use 100% cotton fabric. I have some, but I'm not sure if the quality is very good. Some have flaws in them and I'm not sure where they come from. Some could be from my mum's fabric stash. So I think it is the perfect fabrics to start with until I get a good fit. And then I can look for better fabric and make some more. So if you have any tips or things that you know about that I should look into, drop them in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that. Then I also have a pair of double knit socks that I knit for my husband as bed socks that has a hole in the toe that I need to fix. The one sock got a hole first in the toe and now the second sock also has a hole. So I must fix that and I will share more about it in the next episode. Okay, that is it for this episode. Please let me know in the comments down below what projects you are working on. I love hearing about new patterns to me and love if you share your projects with me just as I have shared mine with you. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with me. And if you are new here, I hope that you enjoyed this episode and will consider sticking around. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of my content. And I will see you in the next video. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.